When I look around me, I see trees of green and red roses too. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. But of course, it's not just green trees and red roses that make it such a pretty place. It's everything out there, all the living things, the different species that make up our rich biodiversity. But what exactly is a species? Well, one definition, biologically speaking, for those of us that have sex at least, is that a species is any group of organisms that could freely exchange genetic information with each other by interbreeding. Well, where did the different species come from? How did we get them? Well, Darwin called this the mystery of mysteries. And to explain this, he used or he proposed a very good theory, the theory of evolution through natural selection. And to explain his theory, Darwin used the now famous finches. He noticed that as these finches adapted to their new environments, their beak shapes changed, and it's these adaptations that lead to new species. But what Darwin didn't know was that long before their, uh, long before their beak shapes changed, tiny changes were happening within their DNA. And it's actually these DNA changes that gives us new species. My research tries to uncover these DNA differences. And to do this, I use a pair of fruit flies from South America. What makes them really special is that they are at the brink of a speciation event. They're about to diverge into two new species, but they're not quite there yet. The DNA differences between their genomes are slowly building up. This makes them a very good model in identifying a genetic basis to the origin of species. Using gene sequencing, or what I like to call a 23andMe for fruit flies, I could take a look at their entire genomes and find the genetic interactions that would one day give us new species. Early results of my work have identified a number of DNA differences between these two fruit flies. But are they really enough to one day give us new species? Well, I really think so, but only time will tell. So check back in the next 100 years or so, and I'll let you know for sure. Thanks.